Hey, and welcome to our new video. Today's focus is Google Shopping and how to set up your Google Campaign Management in OpenCart to start selling your products on the world's most popular search engine. Google Shopping was just introduced to the platform and we're going to show you how to install it in OpenCart, how to connect your app, and how to start your first campaign. One important thing before we begin, Google Shopping will be built into OpenCart 3.1 and for all previous versions. You'll have to install it manually. This tutorial will show you how to install Google Shopping like any other extension using the installer. Let's get straight into it. First, go to your OpenCart installer and upload your extension files. Now, before you head to your extensions, you need to go to System, Users, User Groups, and enable your permissions for Google Advertising. Hit Save and go to Extensions. You'll see a new menu called Advertising has appeared in your extensions. Your Google Shopping extension will be located there. Hit Install and then Edit to begin the setup. Okay. This is where you need to confirm you're ready to create a Google Shopping campaign and see if you're covering all the requirements. They're actually pretty simple. Visibility of product catalog simply means that your OpenCart store's products should be public and visible. In other words, an active working e-commerce store. Secure checkout process means to have secure payment and transaction processing methods and have an active SSL certificate. Return policy that is clear and easily visible for users. Billing terms that are clear and easily visible for users. And last, you need to have clear contact information. The minimum requirement here is to have a valid phone number, email address, or a physical address. You can get the full list of requirements and recommendations by Google up here. Once you are sure you got all that covered, enable the check marks and click proceed. Congratulations! You're now ready to configure your Google Shopping management. Step one is to connect your app. You need an app ID and an app secret that you can get from here. This is where you connect your OpenCart store with the Google account. Click sign in with Google to continue and then enter your Google account. Okay, great. The three steps here are to set up your advertising payment profile. First, add your card. To make life easier, your account will be billed automatically. Second, add your balance. Select an amount from the drop-down and add your credit. You will have a 5% service fee that will be deducted once you add your balance. And third, connect your store. This is where you need to enter your store name so your app can be created. Give it a minute to load and you'll see your app ID in secret appears here. Copy them into your OpenCart Google Shopping Admin, and you're ready to continue. In the Chrome settings, you need to select the Setup Confirmation checkbox for the scheduled tasks of periodic syncing with your OpenCart catalog and automatic gathering of product data. Then, click Proceed. Great! You connected your extension with the Google Merchant Center. Now, you need to select if you want to use the Google Merchant Center account managed by OpenCart or your own personal account in case you have one. Proceeding here will require you to select your Google account once more. This step is necessary in case you want to use a different account to connect with Google Merchant Center. You're making great progress. Now it's time for your first smart shopping campaign. Don't worry, you don't have to activate it just yet. Click the new campaign button and you'll get a pop-up with the campaign setup. To create a new ad campaign, you need a name, a target country, a budget, select the language, currency for the campaign, and to activate or pause its status. Click proceed when you're ready and you'll be starting your first campaign. The next step is to configure your shipping and taxes. First, select the minimum and maximum transit time for your shipping methods. Next, the shipping service fee. You can either use a flat fee for all orders made via Google Smart Shopping Ad Campaign, or select the shipping providers you're using and assign the fee manually. Alternatively, you can proceed with setting up your shipping services in the Google Merchant Center. The taxes field is just for the United States. You can use Google's destination-based tax estimation and select the states you currently ship to. 
In case you're not based in the US, use this setting or you can choose to set up these details in the Google Merchant Center again. Once you're done here, click proceed to go to the final step, the category mapping. These are the main Google categories that you can use to assign your products. This is not a required step, but it will help Google understand what you're selling easier so they can better rank your ads with relevant search terms and keywords. If you don't find your category, you can still proceed without selecting any categories. And you're done! Your Google Smart Shopping is now all set. In the next video, we'll explain how to manage your extension and campaigns from here on. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned for more videos.